Hashmap Megabytes. Welcome to another episode of Hashmap Megabytes. Today I want to talk about the profiler. Snowflake did a profiler from Hashmap. Um, this is a tool that we built to make it easier to do data quality analysis and to jumpstart some of your more advanced analytics on top of Snowflake data. So first thing to do is go to our website, which is profiler.snowflakeinspector.com. And this will take you to a, a kind of form here. So the way it's built, it's an open source tool uh, built on top of Python, Flask, Docker, uh, and Pandas. And what we do is we accept from our backend, which is fully secured by the way, um, some information that we require to execute a query against your Snowflake environment. This is going to pull just the 10K kind of first rows uh, from your environment. That's a scalability thing we do right now, but hopefully um, in time as we automate some of our scaling, that won't be necessary. Um, so to do that, um, I'll show you really quickly a sample profile here that you, you can explore on your own. Um, all other profiling reports will look the same, but basically we'll break down all the different columns of your data. Um, we'll provide some level of histogram for your um, distribution analysis so you can see uh, where, where different pieces of information are coming from, how they're distributed, identify if you have uh, highly unique values or if you have maybe overloaded values um, or potentially a, a ton of null values. These are useful, of course, as I mentioned, for data quality. Maybe uh, I have a data set that requires middle name um, to have really good values. And seeing that there's a ton of nulls might be an interesting thing to figure out up front and then go back and fix it rather than going down the path of not realizing it soon enough and, and building all this analysis that's ultimately not particularly useful or reliable. Uh, but it's also really valuable for um, building more advanced uh, analytics. So correlations here, for example. Um, one that I like to point out here from this data set, which is a, a like customer's data set, it's from uh, Microsoft, it's um, AdventureWorks for folks who are familiar with that. Um, I can see that yearly income has a, a pretty high correlation with uh, cars owned. So that seems to make sense. So the number of cars owned and the amount of money as one goes up, I assume the other one's going up uh, as well. It'd probably be hard to own a lot of cars if, if you don't have a pretty high income. So this is a, a great kind of confusion matrix starting point for maybe data sets that don't have as obvious or intuitive relationships where total children, for example, having a, um, uh, a, a weak correlation with yearly income that the more money you have, maybe the more kids you have. And that's not particularly intuitive to me, but it's a little interesting. It's weak, but it's something worth um, looking at. So going back to the tool, um, I can put in some live information here just from our own account. So let me grab my email and then my Snowflake password. Again, if you're if you're feeling uncomfortable about this, um, you can run this in a Docker container locally. You don't have to trust that you know we're not storing your data, which we're not. We store none of your data, none of your credentials. Um, we we do some um, anonymous analytics tracking to see how many people come to the website, but we're not identifying really um, you know individual accounts or any of this information at all. So I will copy this, paste. And then um, something that's been a challenge in the past working with tools that integrate with Snowflake is that Snowflake's, their account name conventions are really weird. So to make that easy, if you know your account name, you can go ahead and type it, or you can just paste the URL for your account. Go ahead and copy and paste that wherever you log in at, that'll work fine here. For me, ours is HashMap, we're lucky to have one that's um, easily named, we can type out. And then the data set I'm gonna profile is um, our Google Analytics data. So again, this is um, anonymous tracking data that we have on most of our websites to see if what we build is actually um, generating a response in the community. Do people like what we built? So the database is of course, Fivetran DB, um, which we use for replication. Schema is Google Analytics. And then the table name is just our hourly traffic. So this is um, some hourly information about our, our traffic. So uh, create data profile. Uh, this is gonna start loading. Uh, it can take a little bit of time depending on how wide and how complex your data is. Um, but in general, we don't see this taking more than 30 seconds, maybe 40. So what we like to tell people is that we can generate a report in under 60 seconds, um, which is really useful for something that doesn't know anything about your data and requires really minimal user input. 
So here's the information I have, the report that was generated for me. Again, if I reloaded this page, this wouldn't come back. This data doesn't exist anywhere else than on my machine right now. It's deleted as soon. It's never really saved in the first place. So it just, it's not something you have to worry about this leaking out in the future. And I can see um, some reproduction information about when it was started, maybe some configurations. And then um, warning. So we use the uh, Pandas profiling library to make this work. So this is not our library, but um, we apply the glue that just makes it seamless to pull from Snowflake, get into a Pandas data frame, and then generate this report. So I get a couple warnings about the data, some things that would be useful to know, like host name uh, being constant. That makes sense because all of the traffic we're pulling from is our hashmapinc.com. Um, and maybe if that's something that you didn't expect, that would be really useful to know. And then I can jump into, for example, date. Um, I can see some detailed information about how that's distributed and date hour specifically. I can get a more detailed uh, histogram to see when data is coming in. Um, this might seem basic to some people, but if you're getting started with a fresh uh, set of data, I really believe this is a great first stop to, again, check are there any data quality issues that I'm not expecting uh, and maybe there are some interesting correlations here. So um, page views being highly correlated with users, that makes a lot of sense to me. The more people who come to the site, the more times the site will be viewed. Um, this is a pretty good correlation here. So um, that's really it for the, the profiler. Uh, I encourage you to check out our open source um, link to this, uh, which is in GitHub. Uh, we also open source all the continuous integration so that you can feel comfortable that what you see is what you get in the actual um, uh, actual tool and then of course we have some build instructions here if you want to just run it on your local machine or even incorporate it in a more widely available internal suite of tools uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more hashmap megabyte content hashmap megabytes